90 days of pumping in the books. What do you think? It's, uh, it's bigger and it just keeps getting bigger. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. So what are the biggest differences that you've noticed since I started using this pump? Um, girth and like thickness as well as length. Okay. Have you been enjoying it? Yes. A lot? A lot. On a scale of one to 10. <laughs> I thought you said I was good before. Hey guys, it's Hink here. Today we're going to be discussing this Alpha M video and he gives his like grand finale for the BM like Hydromax, Hydromax product that he used. Okay. And so one of my YouTube subscribers says, you know, like, oh, don't do reaction videos. You can't learn anything from them. I disagree because there's a lot, a lot of misinformation in this video. There's a lot of information in general, but a lot of this needs to be corrected, guys. So that's the point of this video so we can learn from it. It's also pretty entertaining, okay? I was six inches. So I was still like insecure wildly about my size. So once again, he starts talking about how it's something that he's always been insecure about. And then when he's with his girl, like, oh, she's been with somebody better or bigger, or whatever it may be. And that's just a very universal like response. And so I do kind of applaud him for that, if you will. But so, but like, here's where like we get it. Guys, like, it, I know it sounds maybe condescending or whatever, but like, stay in your lane. Like this dude is like a, I mean, a jack of all trades, whatever it may be, but like, he's not into science and medicine and he, like you can tell. So. But if you're gonna be giving information about procedures, enlargement procedures, then you really need to know what the heck you're talking about so you don't give harmful information. And this guy gives harmful information, guys. If you are actually looking for like a detailed breakdown of all the different enlargement surgeries there are, like check out my video. I'll leave a link below, but like I break down in detail based on the actual scientific data, like the actual pros and cons of all of these different procedures option to make Big Al look longer is lengthening surgery. So first off, he starts talking about like the suspensory ligament cutting surgery. And he says, oh yeah, the only downside is that instead of your Jimmy hanging like this, it'll actually hang a little bit lower. Like, no, first of all, you can cut that whole suspensory ligament. There's a neurovascular bundle under there. So you can have literally permanent nerve damage, permanent erectile dysfunction from a botched surgery right there. Number two, that suspensory ligament stabilizes your member. Yeah, it does provide that erection point, but it also prevents it from going from side to side. So if you snip that ligament, it's a lot looser and you can increase the risk of, you know, you're doing something and they come down at an angle. You can literally increase your fracture of a penis risk, your penile fracture risk. And so it is actually a dangerous surgery. Furthermore, it doesn't actually lengthen the penis. It just increases the flaccid size. It does not do anything for the erect size. Nothing, guys, that's a scientific fact. So that is not, in fact, a lengthening surgery. It's a flaccid size increasing and destabilizing surgery. Would never, ever recommend it. So like off the bat, he's way, way just wrong, flat out wrong. Option number two is thickening surgery. Then he talks about doing girth surgery with like a cadaver partner. <laughs> Hey, yo, what the? Dude, like, where are you getting this information? Like, who actually does that? Guy, do I need to say it? Don't do that procedure. The next option to make it thicker is Restylane injections. So then he talks about, like, lip fillers and fat injection, guys. And once again, like, yes, can that increase girth, but he fails to talk about the point that you need multiple injections. It's not permanent. It can leave you with these, like, abnormal nodules on your penis where you literally need to inject something called hyaluronidase in there to break up, like, the hyaluronic acid that forms these nodules. Once again, it does not, I mean, it only increases your girth, but it can cause desensitizing. And if you use fat, there's literally something called a fat embolism, which fat goes to your heart, blocks your heart, and you die you die. So this is literally a potentially deadly procedure. Just, just flippantly like fl fails to mention like, Oh yeah, you know, whatever it works, but you know, these, I'm just being complete guys. Like, come on, man. The next option to make him thicker is called a panuma. Then he talks about the panuma and he's like, yeah, satisfaction rates are high. No, they're not. Like if you look at, yeah, if you look at their published research, which is like 100% funded by panuma and comp incorporated or whatever the parent company is, like on the papers, they do have slightly reasonable satisfaction rates. But guys, number one, this does not increase the length of your penis, okay? So it is not a lengthening procedure, it's a girth procedure. Number two, it only goes around the outside, on the corpora of your penis. And so the glands, the head of your penis remains the same size. So you look like you have like shoulder pads on, because you have this like wide corpora surrounding like your, t not tiny glands, but your normal size glands, it doesn't look natural. And you get like a ribbing or like a lining around it that doesn't look natural. There's lots of reports 
of the actual like Panuma implant coming through the stitches. So you can actually see the implant through the stitches. There's lots of reports of infection, having to have it removed and developing fibrosis afterwards. So guys are far worse off after having that implant than before. Like, I don't know how this is FDA approved for any reason whatsoever. I would never, ever, 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 forever, forever, ever, forever, ever, ever recommend it. It is not a good procedure to have, guys. And he's like, well, yeah, there's good satisfaction rates. The only downside is the cost. No, the only downside is your penis might not work anymore. The next option in terms of length is extenders. Extenders are basically like a contraption that you wear on your wiener for like seven hours a day. So then he talks about extenders. This is not like the most harmful thing he said, but it does, he says, oh yeah, it doesn't do anything for thickness. That's not actually true. There's some extender studies that show that it actually can increase your girth. And you know, that's been, I know there's a lot of anecdotal evidence for that in our like PE community, that by basically stretching the tissue, we can help to build up the circumferential like thickening of it. But then he says there's lots of complications. Like of all of the things he mentioned in the actual scientific literature, I've made several videos guys on extenders, okay? Even just one on like a paper breaking down extenders. I'll put the link below as well. But like the complication rate from it is universally like zero major complications across the board, across every single extender study I've ever read. There is, I've never seen any kind of significant like damage from it. Now I'm not saying that doesn't happen with extenders and I'm not saying I haven't coached, I haven't, I maybe coach one guy that had damaged himself through like a noose extender, but but yeah, and so like these are generally a safer approach, absolutely safer than everything he's mentioned so far, but yet he's like, oh, this one you gotta be careful with. That's the problem with like, that's the problem with America these days. That's the problem with people that don't know what the F they're talking about, giving this information to his like 9 million followers. The next option is what is called gel queen. All right, now gel queen is kind of like you're like milking and stretching your wiener. No guys, like gel queen. Like he says like uh, G-E-L-Q-U-E-E-N is how he pronounced gel king, which you know, it's oh, oh look at him, he can't pronounce anything, but it's just like instant credibility just shot, okay? I'm a stickler for this. Now I'm not the most proficient in the English language by any means, but like to me, if you like are trying to talk about something and you mispronounce it, like it's just like, oh gosh, like instant credibility is shot regardless of what it is. And so like, guys, just don't joke, okay? I, I don't feel like I don't need to talk about it. Don't, please, for the love of Christ, don't joke. You're gonna hurt yourself. Probably far and above, that is the most common injury that I, that I coach people through. On my Patreon, if you need to reach me, Patreon slash DocKink, or if you just wanna support me, I post my videos up there early. But anyways, guys, don't joke. It's like the most dangerous thing you could do. And that is oftentimes combined with some type of pump, um, which is the next and final way to actually make it bigger. Okay, and then he gets into like this whole BM thing. And guys, like this is just one big promo. And I'm not about to be a hypocrite as I like sit here beside my supplement company, like I'm not promoting anything. We're gonna break down what's wrong with the way he's doing this, okay? And the reason why I saved this one for last is because I've used this. I've used this now for months. I love this product. It has literally changed my life. So first of all, he says he loves the device. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I have used this device. I still love it. Like it's way overpriced. Like I wouldn't buy it again, but I still love it and I still use it. Now, 80% of the time, literally like five out of the seven days of the week, I'm using my pump from like peakmalephysique.com with the air gauge. I know exactly what pressure I'm using and I absolutely love it. And like, there's not really a going back, but you know, that maybe it's just the first pump that I used and it, it just has a special place in my heart and I still use it to this day. And so like, he's not lying about that. And he also talks frequently about how it's a lot of fun. Guys, it is a lot of fun. It's annoying to have to like get hot water and get in the shower or get in the bath and use it. But like, it is a lot of fun to use like period, especially when you take it off and you're like, whoa, what is going on? Who is that? That being said, major problems with that hydro device, okay? Number one, cost. It costs about 10 times more than it should, okay? And that's why me and BD made Peak Male Physique because we wanna give you like reasonably priced stuff, not like this 100% markup that you see or more on all these different companies, okay? Number two, it doesn't have a scale. You have no idea what pressure you're using, okay? Number three, especially if you have one of those older devices or like one that doesn't have the hand pump, you're jamming that thing into your pelvis, shooting that water out, you're causing like a lot of potential damage. That original BM device, like just the Hydro, or like even the Hydro Max, very dangerous, never recommend it. So what are the pros? It actually does work, guys. Like, it does work. No affiliate links here, it does work. There's better options, there's cheaper options, but it does work, I'm not gonna cap about that. He talks about how like, he's like, oh, on a scale of 10, like how much do you like my new size? And the girl's like a 12. 
like, I, I know a lot of you guys want me to be at this point, like, guys, size doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Love yourself. You should love yourself, guys. But like, you're living in bizarre world if you think size doesn't matter. I'm sorry, guys. Now, that being said, I'm not saying you need to be huge, okay? I'm just saying in this case, this guy went from, uh, you know, allegedly average to bigger and his girl is enjoying that more. And so every girl is different. There are literally women that have things like dyspareunia where like they can't even tolerate having sexual intercourse because it hurts so much or vaginismus where like their vagina literally will constrict down and like they can't be penetrated and it's painful. So not every girl wants a massive hog, guys. But like I'd be lying to you if I would say that, you know, there's a lot of women that do prefer like a larger size, not meaning a big size or above average, but if you yourself were to go from your current size to put on some size, some women might appreciate it, some not. Regardless, if you're with the right women, they're gonna love you for you, and that's all that matters, guys. But I'm just, I'm not gonna sit here and, and, and cap and be like, oh no, guys, size doesn't matter at all. Like it does, I'm sorry, it does. What were the results? In terms of the benefits that I saw from using this, um, Unbelievable. I gained about an inch in terms of length. I'm over seven now. And in terms of like circumference or thickness, that was the thing that I noticed the biggest difference, right? I gained over an inch and like a half of thickness over the course of the past like a hundred and like, call it 50 days, right? So here's where like, I hate him, okay? So he says, I gained an inch. He said he went from six inches to seven inches, okay? Gained an inch in length. And he says he gained over 1.5 inches in girth in under six months, in 150 days. That is absolute, complete, and utter horseshit, okay? Now, I don't even care if he like immediately took the pump off and measured right out of the pump. You're not gaining an inch in length from just using the BM and you're definitely not gaining an inch and a half in girth. And so why do I care? So number one, he's manipulating you to use his promo code so he can make money off of you. And number two, he's giving false expectations. To me, that's worse than the fake natties that are like, oh yeah, here's my workout routine for 27 inch biceps like I have. And they're really just jacked full of ro roids and like, you know, like allegedly Simeon Panda or Mike O'Hearn. Like this is worse because now he's like, he's giving you this expectation that in under six months by using this product, you're gonna gain an inch to an inch and a half in length and girth. And people are gonna buy this product, use it, and they're gonna be disappointed or not get those permanent gains and just have some mild temporary gains. And then they're gonna be the same people that I tried PE and it doesn't work because I know and I tried it. And so that's the problem with this, guys. As I mean, mostly just the freaking manipulation. I would use it, when I was starting, I was using it like three to four times a week. Now I'm only using it about twice a week. It's kind of like maintenance, right? So here's what really pisses me off too. He says that by using that device only three to four times per week, that is how he got those gains. Like absolute horse crap. And especially because prescribed by BM. They say use it three minutes on and then two minutes off, okay? And do that for three sets and that's it, okay? Because they're trying to cover their butt because they don't want people to get injured and sue them. That is not enough for permanent gains, guys, especially not using it three to four times a week. Then he goes on to say that he was only using it three to four times per week for like the first 30 days. And then he was just using it one to two times per week as a maintenance. like. Guys, you do need maintenance for a lot of these if you wanna keep 100% of your gains, so I guess I'm glad he mentioned that. But like, that is just, that is crap, that is horse crap, that is setting up unrealistic expectations and setting up a lot of men to be disappointed and feel like failures because they're trying this device and they're not getting the same results as Alpha M. Gus, it works! Proof of that is my before and after picture. Do you wanna see it? I'm kidding. That would be weird. I can't show you that. Anyway. And then at this part, he's like, oh yeah, it works. How do you know it works? Cause you can see my results, my before and after. <laughs> Just kidding, that'd be weird. I mean, yeah, who would actually be crazy enough to put before and after pictures? Guys, I have my before and after pictures on Reddit. You can actually verify my pictures on Reddit if you go on there. But this guy is like, oh no, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. But so he claims to be six inches starting off. So let's just say he was average. Let's just say he was like six inches by five inches, which is, you know, kind of on the upper end of average in girth, but you know, whatever, okay? So if you put on an inch in length, he would be seven inches by 6.5 inches. That is like film star size, like levels, especially with girth. Like what, I mean, 
Like, of course, but like, why would he not show that off? Like, if he had a hog that big, like really, like really, like that's your reason, oh, that would be weird. No, you don't wanna show off any before and after pictures because you're lying. There's, there's, it is impossible. I will say it's impossible. I will get sued by him for slander if he can prove that he has those results because that is absolute bull crap, guys, and you should not believe it. And I wish that everybody that saw this video would see at least this part of the video saying that is horse crap. So enough with the pump thing. On to EQ, guys. Next up, gentlemen, what I want to do is talk about some other ways for you to make whichever size wiener you have the best it can be. Tip number one is lose body fat. All right, bottom line. The next thing, don't smoke. Something else that actually will make him harder is L-arginine and L-citrulline. First of all, I mean, it sounds like he literally took my video that I made on like, avoid these 10 things for maximum e erection quality and, and just like rehashed it. Watch that if you haven't, but like, so then he talks about like, oh yeah, L-arginine and L-citronine, these are great. But like, once again, like if you don't know what you're talking about, just shut the heck up, man, because L-arginine gets metabolized by your gut and about 80% of it is not used. Whereas L-citrulline goes the different route. It actually goes through your kidneys and then get transferred to L-arginine that way. And so literally by taking L-citrulline, you have higher levels of L-arginine. And so like you should never take just L-arginine. Now in Vigor, we actually have a more bioavailable form of L-arginine that actually avoids that metabolism because of a special molecule they attach to it. But that's neither here nor there, okay? The point is you should never recommend L-arginine. It is not as effective. That is literally not only not as effective, but it's not as cost efficient. So like that is bad information right there. Anyways, guys, the rest of that video, like whatever, it is what it is. So what else did he miss? Guys, a major side effect from any kind of pumping is gonna be massive discoloration. Like for some people, that's a huge deal, especially for some people that aren't blessed with as much melanin to have like a normal color and then to go to like a dark color, like you have a major tan on your D, like that's gonna be very noticeable and that could be a major drawback. And he just fails to mention that. There's no way if he's been using that device for 150 days, like he said, that he doesn't have significant discoloration. And so that's a major drawback. He doesn't talk about changes to potential foreskin enlarging, okay, or lengthening. And he doesn't even talk about the potential for injuries in this video, okay? And so like he should have done a major disclaimer about like the neurovascular bundle and increasing pressure, but he just doesn't. So anyways, those are my problems with this guy, okay? And then like, here's a problem with society at large. So this guy goes online and he makes this video about like, I've always been insecure. And he talks about these problems that are real problems that a lot of men deal with. And then like one of the number one comments is this comment here that he's like, congratulations, you went from a micro to a mini. Like, like, ha anyways, that's just a me problem or society problem. But like, that is just so insensitive and in my opinion, disrespectful, but it's the internet, okay? So I hope you learned something today, guys. I had fun. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace and love.